Hello and welcome dear students. So today we are going to start the new chapter from your supplementary book that is the desert. In this chapter we will study about different types of deserts and desert animals and plants. So let's start. Those of us who live in regions covered with forest and surrounded by hills may find it difficult to imagine what a desert is really like. The popular belief is that it is an endless stretch of sand where no rain falls and therefore no vegetation grows. It is dry, hot, waterless and without shelter. But this is not entirely correct. For those who have studied it, the desert can be a beautiful place. It is the home of variety of people, animals and plants that have learned to live under very hot and dry conditions. So the writer says here that those people who live in the plain areas which are filled with greenery and surrounded by beautiful hills, they cannot imagine anything about a desert because the desert is totally different from their living areas. Many people believe that the deserts are the areas covered with sand and without any rain. This is the basic reason because of which there is no growth of, of vegetation. The desert places are usually dry, very hot and without water and shelter. But some studies prove that this, is, uh, this idea is not fully correct. The people who have done research on it, according to them, the desert lands can also be a place filled with beauty. There are many different types of people, animals and plants that have adjusted themselves to live under the dry and hot conditions of desert. True, the ground is not always hidden by a cover of grass, plants and trees as it is in other climates. But whenever it rains, which is rare, desert flowers bloom and the sight can be rewarding as that of any tropical garden. Tropical garden means that area that is full of greenery. So here the writer says that it is a fact that the desert lands are not totally covered with green grass and plants and trees like other plain areas. But whenever it is blessed with rain, it looks beautiful because of their beautiful flowers and uh, that bloom during the rain and at that time it looks like a grassland only. Now, a desert is not always a flat, unchanging wasteland of dry sand. It may have mountains and hills, it may have an oasis, big or small. An oasis is like a green island in the middle of a desert which where a spring or a well gives plants and trees a better chance to grow. A desert may be hot like Thar and cold like Ladakh. But generally speaking, if a place has little or no water or vegetation, people usually call it a desert. Here, the writer says that a desert is not always the area filled with sand. It may also have beautiful hills and huge mountains. It may also have some spring of water and greenery. An oasis is like a green island surrounded by a desert where beautiful plants can grow and some rainfall is also there. And if it is big enough, people can also live there. Now, there are not only the deserts which are hot and dry like Thar Desert in Rajasthan. Some deserts are also cold like Ladakh. But the common fact between both of them is that deserts are the places where no rain and greenery. This is the reason because of which they, they are called desert. Some deserts are almost totally without water. In such places, strong winds blow, raising heaps of sand and depositing them as mounds. These are called sand dunes that shift and move endlessly across the desert. Few plants can survive on such dry shifting sands. So, sand dunes are found in those deserts which are almost totally without rain. These sand dunes keep on shifting across the desert. But between uh, in these sand dunes also, some plants can survive and grow by adapting this climate of desert. So children, in the part first we have read about the desert and its types. Now in the second part, we will continue with the desert animals and plants. So, all living things need water in order to survive. The few plants and animals that live in deserts have developed the ability to require less water than most plants and animals. Like the camel, popularly known as the ship of the desert, can drink a lot of water at one time. Camels can do without water for two days together. The reason is they sweat very little. 
we sweat because we must uh, keep our body temperature constant constant means stable we sweat when it goes hot sorry when it gets hot and this cools the body camels can stand high body temperature they don't need to sweat and can therefore retain the water they drink for long periods of time so water is the basic need for the survival of every living being all creatures need water to survive but a few plants and animals are there in the desert which have the ability to adjust in the environment with less water the best example of these types of animals is the camel it is also known as the ship of the desert it can survive in the hot conditions of the desert because it drinks a lot of water at a moment camels can live without water for many days the reason behind this is they don't sweat much so they absorb water in their body but we the human beings sweat much to keep our body temperature normal so whenever it's hot we sweat and our body cools down the camels can have high body temperature so they don't need to sweat and cool their body this is the reason behind the store water they drink for a long span of time the smaller desert animals don't drink water they burrow underground during the hot day and come out at night to eat some of them eat other animals and get the water they need from the moisture in the meat others eat plants and seeds get the water they need from the plant juices there are some smaller desert animals also which don't need water for their survival to adjust with the hot and dry conditions of the desert they make their underground burrows and they live in these houses during the day because it is too hot to come out but at night they come out in search of food some of them get the water in the form of moisture from the animals they eat remaining of them eat plants and seed and they get water in the form of plant juices so they are able to survive like this desert plants also adapt themselves to the life they lead like cactus plants can store water in their thick stems their roots lie close to the surface of the ground and quickly absorb the moisture from the light rains and occasionally fall the major feature of all deserts is of course dryness and variations of temperature in humid climates the moisture in the air acts like a blanket and protects the earth's surface from the hot rays of the sun the absence of this blanket in desert lands causes the desert to heat up rapidly during the day and to cool off rapidly at night so here there are some desert plants also which can survive themselves under the tough conditions of the desert like cactus plant they absorb water in their thick stems their roots are spread in the surface of the ground so they are able to absorb the moisture even in the light rains that are rare to be find the basic characteristics of the deserts are that they are dry without greenery and with the variation in temperature in our cities or villages the climate is humid the moisture present in the air works like a cover that protects the land from being affected by the hot rays of the sun but in the desert land this moisture is not present in the air so it is badly affected by these hot rays and this is the reason that they are very hot during the day and so cool at night so there is variation in the temperature during the day and night it rises much during the day and falls down during the night so deserts are the important part of nature's great plan they are there like the dense forests and deep oceans just as because they are hot and dry one should not look upon them as useless part of the earth but now the writer focus on the fact focuses on the fact that one should not think that they are the useless part of the earth actually they are also an important part of nature because some animals of plants can only survive in these tough conditions 
so the deserts are like the deep forest or deep sea but because they are hot and dry they are ignored by the people but they also have their own importance in nature they also have their hidden beauty in the form of some plants and animals in some small hills and mountains so children i hope you enjoyed this chapter and you also have got knowledge about the desert and the desert animals and how the desert animals and plants survive under the hot conditions hot and tough conditions of the desert so thank you all have a nice day